Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I am participating in an open collab called Deck the Halls with Vintage Christmas. This is hosted by Erin from My Collection Vintage and Carol from My Blessed Nest. Both of these ladies are absolutely fabulous and I am so glad that they decided to do this video because I love vintage items but I absolutely love Christmas items. So I am excited to just watch everyone's videos and see what everyone has found. I'll make sure to add the playlist so you guys can click on that and go check out what everyone else has found who is participating today, as well as a link to my collection Vintage and my Blessed Ness um, YouTube channel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into what I have found the last few months for my Christmas decor, which is vintage items. So. I have been looking for tins. I have been obsessed with vintage Christmas tins lately. Well, it tins in general, but I really wanted some Christmas ones. So my recent find was this one right here. I love the shape of this. It's a nice little oval one, and it's got these cute little bells and greenery on it, and I think it is so cool. So I am loving this tin. And then I also found this one right here oh there we go love the pop of red but what i really love is that each side has a little bit different scene on it which i think is so cool and this is a cute little one perfect for like stacking things on top of or like filling with flowers oh i love this one so i will be using that i am sure and then i did find one other one now this one looks really old to me just looking at the back, <laughs> looks like it's been around a while, but I absolutely loved it because it was red and it has this gorgeous poinsettia on it. I love the graphics on this, it is so pretty. Along the outside there's this, you know, wreath along the outside and then the gorgeous poinsettia in the middle. I think that is so cool. So I am loving this. I haven't figured out where to use this one yet. The other two I've already found a spot for. <laughs> so eventually I'll figure that out. I'm definitely not done with my decorating for Christmas yet. The house is in a complete state of disrepair. It is just terrible, but that's all right. That's what happens when you're decorating. <laughs> all right, so the next thing I found was a really cool candle that I absolutely fell in love with. Um, you probably remember it from my Thrift Store Thursdays if you watched that particular week. It is so gorgeous. I love it the red building on it with the tree and then it's got a horse drawing a little sleigh behind it and then it's got some really pretty like trees in the background as well so i am absolutely loving this so much i already have used it i of course got this this is like one of the first things i'm like i have to use this candle <laughs> so i'm loving that so then i was super fine super excited to find two teacups that matched three other ones that I already had found last year and they look like this just a simple white with the cute little holly berries on it and the holly leaves and I just think it is so pretty and like timeless so I picked up both of them that they had so now that gives me five of these which is perfect for my family and I think these are going to look so cute just like on the counter ready for us when we want to have a little bit of hot chocolate these are not marked at all so i have no idea how old they are but they seem somewhat oldish <laughs> and speaking of hot chocolate you guys might remember this too we have been getting a lot of use out of this it is this false graph teapot with the gorgeous little christmas tree on it it's got the christmas um decal on both sides and it is awesome. I also love the top. It's got a little bit of green on it. But yeah, we have been using this quite a bit. Um, three or four, maybe five times so far. We have used this. We make big batches of hot chocolate, put it in here, and we sit around and drink out of cute little teacups. And it is so much fun. So we are loving this so much. And this is my first piece of Falls Graph. Um, Jamie from Border Bananas. If you watch her channel, she has got a ginormous collection of Falls Graph in this heritage pattern. And I have been helping her find pieces here and there when I stumble across them. So I've kind of been, it's been growing on me. So <laughs> this is my first piece. So when I saw this, I was like, I have to have this teapot. 
Another thing I love to look for are little angels at Christmas time. And I found a set of three. These are by Homeco. Homeco? Yeah. Um, it looks like this. Love her cute little dress in red and white with the little holly berries. This one is holding a little um, wreath. And she's just so cute. There's so many details on her that I just think are so adorable. And then there's another one that has, and she's holding a little package, stack of packages. Now this one, I didn't notice at the store, was actually missing a wing. She has only one wing instead of two, but that is okay. I love her anyways, and I will totally use her. <laughs> so I think she's so cute. And then when I was unpacking my Christmas decor, I realized that last year, I had found a single one of this right here. So now I have two of this little girl who's got a little stocking with some and a little candy cane draped over her arm. And she's just super adorable as well. So that was pretty cool. So this next item is my absolute favorite that I have found this year so far. And it is a whole box of ornaments. And these are those make yourself ones that we all used to make when we were little. It has the little crystals or whatever that you put inside the little, you know, metal frames and then you melted them and they're like little sun catchers. I think these are so awesome. I remember making these as a kid and I think they are so cool. So now I have a whole box. And there are so many in here that I haven't even gone through all of them yet. This one is super adorable. Haha. <laughs> Um, oh, and I love, love, love this one, the candle. I don't know about you guys, but I love the vintage candle. I think that is so cool. So anyways, there is a whole box of them, as you can see. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to pick out my favorites and um, put them on my tinsel tree that I'm putting in my corner of my kitchen. The rest of them, I think, I don't know, I might use them as little decorations at like the table for Christmas or something like that. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with all of them. But there's way more than I could use on one little tiny tree for sure. So the last thing to share with you is my last item that I found at the thrift store just this week. And it is a vintage stocking and it looks like this. I love these so stockings so much. I have, I think I have like six of them at this point. And, you know, some of them have, like, Grandpa on the bottom. Some of them, like, this one just says Christmas tree on it. And don't you just love these? I think these are the funnest thing. And they always have, like, the little pom-poms on them. Like, I don't know when these were popular. I'm thinking, like, 70s, 80s maybe. I don't really know. If you guys know, let me know because I am obsessed with these <laughs> with these stockings. So I'm always looking for them at the thrift store. So I found one this year and I'm super excited to add it to my collection. I love it. It's so cool. So that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out that playlist in the description box and go see everyone else's videos. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure you give everybody a little bit of love in their comment section while you're there as well. And I would love to know what you guys are looking for for yourselves. Is there something in particular that you are searching for at the thrift store to add to your vintage collection for Christmas? So let me know down in the comments. If you're not searching for anything in particular, let me know which of the items I found this week you feel is my best find. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Check out that playlist, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye now.